Hey students, how are you? So today we are going to talk about self-defense by animals and plants through chemical warfare. So this topic is all about how animals and plants protect themselves by some chemicals present in their bodies. And in this video, we will cover that which acids or which bases are present in these animals and plants body through which they self-defense themselves by inserting those liquids in our body. And after going inside our body, why these liquids cause pain and irritation? First of all, let's see that which type of liquids these animals and plants insert in our body by attacking. So if we talk about honey bee or needle plant, then when they string to our body, it leaves an acid named formic acid in our body, which causes pain and irritation in our muscles. Similarly, when a wasp strings, then it inserts alkaline solution in our body, which is a basic solution in nature. That's why this also causes pain and irritation in our body. Okay? So now the question arises that how can we get relief from this irritation and pain caused by these liquids? So if the pain is caused by an acidic solution, means in the case of honeybee or needle plant strings, it inserts formic acid into our body. So particularly in this case, we will use a basic solution or anything which is basic in nature, like baking soda. Then after we rub that baking soda on that acid caused by honeybee, then after doing it will convert to a neutral salt by the process of neutralization. Now what is neutralization? So neutralization is a type of chemical reaction in which an acid reacts with a base to form salt and water. And some of its example is sodium hydroxide means NaOH reacts with hydrochloric acid means HCl. Then it forms a neutral salt named sodium chloride means NaCl with water and because of this the pain in those muscles will also get relief and also some traditional remedies are also used to cure this irritation and pain in the muscles caused by this type of acidic or basic reaction and in this one of the remedy is leaf of a dog plant which usually grows besides the needle in the wild now despite of this here are some more salts with their chemical formulas and here it is also given that which salt belongs to which family and it will belong to which family this will depend on the acid and bases which are combining like potassium sulfate means K2SO4 belongs to potassium salts family and it is made by combining H2SO4 which is an acid and K2H which is a base and similarly, the next one is sodium sulfate means Na2SO4 belongs from sodium salts family and these are its reactants. And next is calcium sulfate means CaSO4 and it belongs to calcium salts family and these are the reactants of this. And rest of like this are given below you can see them and understand them more clearly. So that's it for today. Hope you liked the video. If you liked it then please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.